What's going on, everyone? I'm just a typical, average American here today to react and learn about Alt for Norge, Americans learning about Norwegian behavior. This is a Norwegian TV show that actually a lot of people have recommended that I take a look at. Honestly, I've never heard of this show ever. And I don't think a lot of Americans know about this show at all. If I, when I looked it up on Wikipedia here, it says uh, it was marketed in the United States as the Great Norway Adventure. I never saw this thing get marketed in the United States. I've never seen a, a single episode of this show. Yet, it's a Norwegian reality television series, which started in 2010. Uh, it features Norwegian Americans participating in challenges relating to Norwegian history and culture, competing to win a reunion with their distant Norwegian relatives. Really? You're trying to win so you get reunited with your relatives? This is Norwegian Americans doing challenges <laughs> relating to Norwegian history and culture. Okay. I think I understand. This sounds fascinating to me. Uh, I found this little video here. Um, I am very entertained by this, I think, because it's not just a new reality TV show from Norway featuring Americans, like American behavior and stuff that I can relate to, but it's also this particular clip is teaching Norwegian behavior to Americans, <laughs> which is very funny. Uh, so I just thought this would be awesome. An awesome, like, introduction to this show for me. Because I've never seen this. So this is this is just super exciting to me. Uh, so I'm glad I finally get to see some of this Alt for Norge. Alt for Norge? Uh, anyway, however you pronounce it. Actually, I can look this up. I can look this up. What does this mean? Um, this means everything for Norway. Everything for Norway. Alt for Norge. Alt for Norge. Got it. All right, let's take a look. I'm going to take you through a little bit of the Norwegian culture today. Okay. And there's some things Norwegians do which are a little bit strange. <laughs> look at them. So these are the Americans and this guy, this host. There's some things that Norwegians do that are a little strange. Okay, true. Here's a bus stop. So I would like you to stand waiting for the bus. A little bit spread out. Yeah. Wait, this is <laughs> this is stand this is this is how Norwegians are at a bus stop. I like the art. <laughs> they are trying to get as far away as possible. That's funny. That is funny. That's how Norwegians act, right? <laughs> Personal space. Very and important. waiting for the bus. A little bit spread out. Yeah. But actually, Norwegians would not do it like this. They right. would stand in line with the bench here. So you're going to spread your arms. You need to touch the finger. And then when you touch the finger, just to make sure you have enough space, you just step away a little bit more. Yeah? <laughs> okay. Look at that. They are so confused. They have never heard of this. I actually didn't know that Norwegians took this this seriously. Is this true? Like, would Norwegians actually stand in a line like this? Because that's, that's news to me. I thought they'd just, like, stand apart, but Americans, of course, would stand in a random group, and it doesn't really matter, and no one would really think much about it. And that looks very much like a Norwegian <laughs> bus stop, yeah? Really? Yeah. <laughs> really? Actually, it's not because they don't like other people, it's because they respect other people's personal space, yeah? Right, 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 right. It's, it's like a respect thing, which is, I think that's really nice. It's not like, it's not that Norwegians hate everyone, it's like personal respect. I completely relate to Julian talking about Norwegians needing personal space because I tend to be the same way. Actually, I felt more Norwegian listening to his description of Norwegians than probably at any other point because uh, I tend to be uh, exactly the same way. Yeah, I bet like a lot of Americans could actually relate to this. <laughs> Give me a little space. And this is when you know <laughs> that the Norwegian bus is full. 
<laughs> that one was a bit odd for me. I think I would get a lot of odd looks because. That's funny. The, see, the Americans all laugh like how I laugh at like a lot of the Norwegian stuff that is different than America. Because this honestly looks like an exaggeration. The bus stop sounded like an exaggeration because it's so different. But it seems like Norwegians really do like care about personal space. And on the bus, I could totally see Norwegians really going out of their way to make sure they don't sit right next to each other. Unless you have to, right? But on, man, in major cities, in America, and buses, people, you will find people who absolutely just do not care about your personal space. They'll bump into you, they will sit next to you, even if there's space otherwhere, other places. It is so different, and I feel like a lot of Americans are actually somewhat jealous of Norway for this one, the personal space. I would probably plop down beside someone and say, hi, how are you doing? Yeah. And they would yeah. be like, oh my God. <laughs> and exactly. See this lady. Exactly. She's like laughing. Like I, she's saying I would sit next to someone and try to be their friend. I'd try to talk to them. Classic American behavior. <laughs> <laughs> and now there's something you need to learn. Uh, it's a saying in Norwegian and it's called Utpotur. Utpotur. Aldrisu. Aldrisu. Utpotur aldrisu. Opotu Sounds like me. Opotu obritsu. Except now I understand finally from an outsider's perspective <laughs> that Americans are very quick to not be able to remember Norwegian words. They're very difficult for me. Uh, if I hear it though, I, sometimes I think I get the pronunciation. Out for Norge, you know, I can get it if I hear it. Small talking and greetings is something you would do everywhere in America. In Norway, we would only do this in the mountain, yeah? You would greet and start talking with people for no reason. In Norwegian mountains, actually... Wow. That's actually really surprising to me. That's the opposite as America, I feel. You might have small talk or conversation with someone, like on a bus or a grocery store line or somewhere random where it's really busy. That would be normal. But I feel like when you get out into the middle of nowhere, if you're on a hike or when you're secluded, it's seen as inappropriate to talk to people randomly in the middle of nowhere, like the mountains in America, seriously, because it would be seen as like uncomfortable uh, I think it has to do with Americans not trusting each other very much. So when you're all alone and some random person is coming up and interacting with you, it's un it can be uncomfortable because there's not that like level of trust that I think Norwegians have much more of with each other. You need to greet everyone you meet, yeah? What? Hey. Hi. Hi. Fint vær i dag. Yeah, fint vær i dag, yeah. Oh wait, is there closed captioning? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Men turen går sig selv. Nej, turen går ikke sig selv. Det får vi i dag. Ja, tusen takk du også. In America. Yeah, so it actually, it would be impolite to not greet somebody on a hike. <laughs> That's funny to me. I would not have guessed that actually about Norway. So when you encounter someone on a hike or in the mountains, you're supposed to, like, have a little talk and say hello? In America, if somebody was in the woods and came up to greet me and asked where I was going, I would probably run in the opposite direction. Exactly! Exactly! Especially for women in America. If they had a man walk up to them in the middle of nowhere, they'd be scared. They'd be like, uh, oh, this is uncomfortable. It's just, yeah, it's really a cultural thing in America. Because they probably had an axe in their backpack or a dagger. <laughs> so in the mountains, Norwegians can greet and small talk to, to everyone because of two things. First, they have a common activity, yeah? and it's much easier to talk to other people. And the second is that they have the opportunity to escape. <laughs> what? Julian was amazing. The opportunity to escape? No, no, no. See, in America, you can talk in a crowded area because lots of people are nearby to help you. But if you're in the middle of nowhere, 
how are you gonna escape? Americans are not very good at running away. Zing. I really liked him a lot. He understands kind of where we're coming from to be able to navigate some of those interesting cultural differences. Mm. <laughs> wow. Alt for Norge. There's a lot of clips of this show. I'm going to have to check out more clips of this show. I really, really, really like this show. This is like so relatable for me. It's watching, uh, I get to watch other Americans learn about Norway, like some of the things I've learned and get their reaction to, <laughs> it's funny, it's kind of like meta. It's like watching my reaction to their reaction of Norway, but it's super enjoyable for me. I am fascinated that this show exists. Is this real? Is this popular in Norway? It seems pretty funny, to be honest. Uh, <laughs> uh, if you like watching me, you probably like watching this show because it's like very similar, <laughs> reacting to Norway, right? This was by Discovery Plus Norge. Oh, Discovery. Okay, this is by Discovery. I like that. I really like that. Uh, are there any comments here? Yeah, there's some comments. Um, let's see here. Let's make these a little bigger. Oh, he missed the most vital part of why we greet and say where we're going in the mountains. Because if you go missing in an area without phone signal, it could be a matter of life and death. So someone could pinpoint which trail you went on. Really? It's like a safety thing? Talking to people in the mountains so they know where you go? Yeah, again, it's just like Norwegians are, have more trust in each other than Americans. That's what it boils down to. By the first part of the video, I'm now vowing to move to Norway. <laughs> the bus, <laughs> the bus stop, the personal space. Yeah, I think a lot of Americans really actually like that. <laughs> This will be useful when I move to Norway. Yes, this is like literally learning Norwegian culture through other people. Um, what else? LMAO. <laughs> uh, okay. Okay, that's about all the, uh, at least all the comments that I can understand. All right. Man, I like this. I wish, you know, it says in the Wikipedia that this was marketed in the United States. Does that mean it's on Discovery in the United States? But they were speaking Nor Norwegian a little bit. The host was speaking Norwegian a little bit in the show when they were simulating talking to someone in the mountain. And I, you, you don't really see that on American television very much. But this is a super funny show, very entertaining. Very, very entertaining. I can see why people were saying this would be good. And that was just a little clip. There's a whole lot more of these. I'm gonna have to watch more of these things. This is good. This is good. Anyway, uh, if you enjoyed this video, if you enjoyed this reaction, feel free to give it a like or leave a comment. And if you're interested in more videos like this, me reacting to Norway, Norwegian culture, stuff in Norway that I have never seen before, feel free to subscribe for more. And until then, Thanks for watching, and see you next time.